Hi everyone, it's Holly with Jenna with Dolly. I hope you're all doing well. Thank you for being here. Um, today is going to be a little bit of a different video. It's going to be a bit of a vlog, a bit of a uh, haul video, um, showing you what I got, a bit of an unboxing if you will. Um, so yeah, I hope you stick around and you enjoy this video. Um, so yeah, missed you all, not done a video in a little while, so buzzing to be back. Um, now, the reason I'm coming on specifically today is because yesterday um, I came back from Italy. Um, I've been there since Friday evening and it is now Tuesday. I got back into my home uh, at about 2am last night um, following a bit of a delayed flight. But yeah, it was a lovely, lovely time. A very nice long weekend. Um, I was going for a Hindu or a bachelorette party, if you're American, um, for one of my oldest friends. I've known her 16 years. I am her bridesmaid next month. Um, and basically, we, a few of us, a few of the bridesmaids, her mum, her auntie, who I know really well, um, and yeah, a few of the other, a few of her other friends, um, all planned to go out to Bologna in northern Italy because she is currently out there working on the new Ferrari film as you do um, because basically she works in film she always has done since leaving university um, and she wasn't going to be able to come back and kind of celebrate um, a Hindu before the end of um, before her wedding so we all kind of got together and went out now just want to say sorry about this nail it's really ugly and gross it's completely snapped off it's kind of like doing that thing where it's pulling underneath and yeah so I just clipped it off and I'm gonna get them done at some point this week um, but yeah so basically when I was there um, we stayed in a little Airbnb I did take a few videos of a little bit not massive amounts um, but I, I kind of forgot and then I was like, oh, I really want to show on the YouTube some of the, um, you know, some of the videos. So um, I will put those in now and this is just to kind of show you what Bologna is like as a city and just so that you can see a little bit of like where we walked um, and things like that. So I haven't really looked at the full footage yet, so I'll find that out when I insert it in here. But yeah, I will play that now. So I hope you enjoyed looking around Bologna and 
um, just kind of getting a vibe for the place and all that kind of thing. Now, when I was there, um, it was also the perfect opportunity to finally meet one of my longest sort of pen pal online friends, um, which is Valley um, or uh, Valeria over at Valley's creative corner now she also has a travel instagram as well called valley's um one valley's woodland adventures or something i should have googled that before but i think that's right and um, so she has this travely one where she documents her travels and stuff like that and then she also has her creative one now she's a lovely girl she went to university in Bologna so she was really keen to show me around um, and basically she took me stationery shopping so what I thought it'd be fun to do today is to kind of show you what I bought on that trip and um, I've also got some um, jewellery and things that I also bought throughout the time I was there that I want to show you because a lot of people like my style they like what I'm wearing all that kind of thing so I wanted to come on and show those things as well um, and um, Valley very very lovely lovingly made me a little package of gifts um, and I'd really like to show those off as well because they are just adorable and so thoughtful and just so lovely um, and I literally ne was nearly crying when she gave me up um, which was really funny um, but yeah let's get let's get started let's show you some of the things that I managed to get when I was uh, on the continent as we say um, so First up, obviously, I need to show you. This is all of the stuff that I managed to collect in the three days that I was there. Um, obviously, I'm going to use this to journal with, but we've got like business cards, we've got bits of packaging from food, um, we've got little bags from things that I've bought. Um, yeah, again, like pasta packaging, cheese packaging, um, sweetie wrappers, my boarding. Oh god, my boarding pass to get on the plane. Um, things from the Hindu, so like how we decorated the the Airbnb. Um, yeah, again, some like little business cards of foods and things. Um, ugh, I've even got crisp packets in here. Look, that I managed to like keep flat. Um, and then the bags that you get there are really nice. They're all like paper. So I saved those as well. I thought they'd make like nice things. Um and then like what else have I got in here? Napkins, loads of napkins from all the places that we went and had um either food or drinks um or whatever in. So I kept all those as well. Um yeah, so do you know you don't have to buy things to journal with like look around see what there is save everything um, I always take a little plastic bag just to whack them in and then they're all together when you get home um, so yeah I'm going to obviously go through this and pick out the bits that I want to use and all that stuff when I get around to doing those pages now <clears throat> I'm going to show you what uh, Valley made me first because this is just the cutest thing ever so she'd wrapped it up in this tissue paper which says holly on it and it's got um, little sausage dogs all over it which is just again the cutest thing ever um, a lot of people as well in the last video were saying that they really wanted to see pixie in action so here I'm just going to put a little video uh, or two just showing you pixie because everybody seems to love pixie and they might want to see a couple of videos of her so videos of pixie in now Night night. What? Why are you just chill? You've not. You've not. What? That's you in there. Yeah. Is that you? Who is that? Who is that in there? I know it's very confusing to see another baby in there, but it, it's because it's you. Who is it? <laughs> 
slept last night like really slept and then she slept today oh, she's gone to that old guy again <laughs> come on in hello oh. hello it's another girl pix hello Um, pigs, you, you okay? <laughs> um, so I hope you enjoyed seeing Pixie but yeah so she she wrapped it all up in this which just was adorable and then I mean I just wasn't expecting a gift oh, this is just so cute um, she got me this little hamster pencil case which has got like um, sequins in it which move around I don't know if you can see that um, really really cute and inside here um, we've got some little stickers like balloon animals and uh, cupcakes and things and um, some unicorn paper clips which are just adorable and um, some little post-it notes which are um, penguins again super super cute and um, a washi which I believe has got feathers on it I hope you can see that the glare I'm hoping the glare isn't too bad um, and then she made me this cute little card with, I don't know if you can see, but the, the Italy is actually 3D. It's adorable. And then it says my name on the other side. So that is 100% going in the journal, like 1 billion percent. Um, so they're the things that like she bought for me. But then, as if that wasn't sweet enough, she then only went and made me some pixie stickers, which... This is why I cried because I was just like, that is just too cute. And you know, the worst thing is that we actually had to take Pixie to the emergency vet this morning um, because um, I had bought her some um, some ham. I bought, well, not her some ham, but I bought some ham in the airport coming back. And um, it's really, really famous in Northern Italy. I think it's called Mortadella. And we. Uh, I brought that back for Will to try and I gave Pixie a little tiny bit and then she started choking and um, like went into like a fit so we had to take her to the vet and thankfully she's fine she was sick and it's all good but um, very very scary so I absolutely love these little stickers they are just absolutely adorable and this one says the goodest girl and this one says dog mum she had also made me a little one of just this without the love heart in the back but Will's already stolen that one and put it on the back of his uh, phone so I don't have I've got one to show but um yeah these are just absolutely cute as and then she made me me and will like as a pin in again as a sticker um yeah and that's her little a little card but this is just again so 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 cute absolutely love that adorable um and then she got me these little um dashy stickers which look again so like pixie 
like the long hair and the way she stands and everything like it it looks like pixie so much so i just think they are so cute and then she made me as in like sewed me a journal um so it's got my name on it um again this is her little card um and this is her instagram and her youtube if you want to go and follow her please please do um actually i'm going to put this in the in the ephemera pack i think um but inside it's got all different papers so it's like a little junk journal and i'm crap i can't make anything like this so this is just the cutest thing ever so really chuffed with that i think it is just so thoughtful so cute thank you so much again valley it's just it really honestly made made my holiday i'm not gonna lie <laughs> it just was so sweet so um those are absolutely gorgeous thank you so much for those love 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 them um and then like i say she took me stationery shopping so i put it on this little bag so i knew where to put it all um, so she took me to a few places um, there was like a little um, there was a book a couple of bookshops she took me to um, a full stationery shop then there was um, like these little kind of um, Asian shops which sold like lots of different little bits and pieces um, and yeah it was just really really nice to kind of go to places where I would never have found otherwise and she also took me to an amazing shop which sold um, all sorts of holly related items <laughs> like things that I just absolutely loved so it was all pink it had um, just really quirky tableware quirky home stuff um, quirky clothes all sorts of things in it earrings and everything um, and obviously I loved it in there and I ended up getting a bag which I'll show you in a little bit um, but yeah let's have a look at what I bought then so um, I got these postcards because I just thought they'd be nice to um, as, a, as a tip in in the journal and put some pictures something on the back so um, one with the Vespers and then another one with obviously pizza on and you know I didn't eat much pizza when we were there and um, I did have pasta but hardly any pizza which is a little bit weird but yeah um then i found these and these were one euro which is just ridiculous it's about 80 pence um and i've been wanting some of these for absolutely ages but they're really expensive in the uk every time i've seen them but they're just um again we're gonna start opening stuff because i'm home now aren't i so i don't need to keep stuff in the wrapper anymore um but they're just like just little spray bottles that you can put water on and it's so you don't have to always like have your water nearby you can just spray that on or if you want to wet your watercolors whatever then you've got them so they are so handy um, I'm just gonna pop them in there so love them um, I got some Stabilo highlighters um, and these um, I think they've only got one end yeah um, and I, you can get these in the UK, but they're really expensive um, and they were not that bad at all. I think they were about €2.50 each, which again is about £2, which is a lot cheaper than what you'd get here. So I got like a light green, um, a kind of red, and then this really nice um, lilac. So really happy with those. I think they're really, really sweet. Um, pop them in there. Um, of course, I got an empty washi tape because why wouldn't i now i always find the easiest way to do this is to stab it like that <laughs> and then pull from the outside there we go uh, and this one has got Ugh. also i don't know why my desk looks so dirty on the uh, on the camera it doesn't look like that in real life i don't get it um this has got balloons on and they kind of look like marbles but i just thought it'd be nice for like you know um birthdays and things so that's why i got that one um and then i got um two packs of these these were a little bit more expensive but again not you know not too bad um it's by a brand called paper blanks which i've never seen before um, and i got a couple of these just got the other one um 
So there's the designs, and then there's the designs on the other side. So I got Hishi and uh, it's not gonna let me see. Yeah, these were six euro ninety-five each, so about five pounds each. Again, not too bad. Um, filigree floral ivory, which I'm getting this one, and then blue velvet and pear garden. And I love this one. I think this is my favourite. And they've got like a shimmer in them. Again, let's just open them. Like I'm them now. Ooh. Really nice big rolls as well. Super nice. And this one. This one's really nice for Christmas. I think I'll save that for Christmas, that one. Yeah. They're super nice as well. Um, and then I got this little ink um, in ornamental olive, which I thought was very fitting for um, Italy, because obviously olives and that. Um, but I've never seen this like dark green in England, so really excited to use that. And then I got a couple of little stamps. Um, so I've got this teeny tiny little flower one, which I just thought would be really cute to do like different coloured ones in a background. I don't know. And then I've got this one flower pot. Um, and these weren't very expensive either. Um, it's by My Woodies. I've never heard of that brand before, but. Um, I can't remember how much they were, but they weren't they weren't very expensive. Um, so I got those as well. And then I bought my mum because my mum absolutely loves Italian stationery. She used to live in Sicily uh, when she was nineteen, um, and she really loves it. So I got her a Legami um, mechanical pencil because she absolutely loves mechanical pencils. And this one is a little cat one, and you take the cat tail off to put the new lead in, which I just think is so cute. Um, so obviously I'm not going to open this because that this is for my mum so I'm going to keep it in in the package um, and then we went into this little shop and there wasn't that much in there really there was there was like pens and things but we'd obviously always we'd, we'd already bought pens and stuff but then we saw these little packaging bags and we were like yes we love those and these were like a euro each and um, so this one's got um, cherries and strawberries on and again, just thought really cute for anything like Happy Mail or putting them in your journal. Um, this one's got teddy bears on, which I just thought was really quirky and cute. And then this one's pretty simple. It's just got love hearts on. I could probably get these somewhere in the UK, but I, again, haven't seen them before. So I just thought they were those three were just really, really, really cute. Um, and then we're getting on to notebooks because obviously I have to get some notebooks. So the first one that I got, um, this one, these were all three eighty. So again, that's about two pound ninety, um, th three pounds kind of thing. The by the brand, I think it's Cantos, uh, made in Italy. Yeah, Cantos. Um, and this one has teddy bears all over it. And I am going to open this one because this one is for me. Look. Oh, it's blank. Okay, I didn't expect it to be blank. I might make it into like a glue book then or something along those lines, but to be honest, I just love the front cover. I've never seen one so cute with all the with little teddy bears on. And um, Valley actually got the same notebook as this as well um, because we just thought it was really, really, really cute. Um, then I bought my sister this one, um, it's Robin Hood, she used to love the Robin Hood um, Disney film, obviously that had animals in it but like I don't think it matters but it's got like gilt on it, I don't know if you can see like the gold, um, but yeah I bought her this one as a little, a little present and then to go with my mum's uh, cat pen I got her this one with again olives on it, um, again an Italian kind of thing, um, this one I think this, yeah, this is lined, so you can see the lines on the side, 65 centimetres, uh, 64 centimetres, yeah. So yeah, that one is for my mum. Um, I don't know if this one's lined. Yeah, this one's lined as well, so I got the only non-lined one, that's annoying, but oh uh, well. Um, then I got this glittery 
um, black one and this is just a, it's a little bit smaller than A4 but it is it's it's really nice because it's good quality paper and they lie completely flat which I am a big fan of I'm a big fan of I love it when a notebook lies flat um, I don't know what I'm gonna use this for yet um, I'm thinking maybe my December daily but mm, I'm not too sure because um, it's a bit big there's quite a lot of pages and I just don't know if I'm you know I don't know if it's a waste of paper if I rip them out or whatever but then I could do like loads of glue book pages for Christmas or something in it I, I don't know yet I honestly don't know or it could be a Christmas glue but I genuinely have no idea so I'm gonna have to think about what I want to use this for but I just I just love the feel of it and um, I'm probably going to ask um, Valley to send me, there was a purple sparkly one, a little one, and I really wanted that one, but I didn't buy it. And um, I might send her the money and ask her to buy me one, because um, I just I just really, really loved it. Um, and I, I keep thinking about it now I'm home. Um, so that's that one. And then finally, this is like the little unboxing, I guess. Um, I got my journal for next year. Now, we all know how crap I have been journaling this year so if we get my journal from this year this is the amazing amount that i have done i don't want my candle to burn my book so let's just put that down so yeah wow i'm doing so well she says completely sarcastic um i'm doing rubbish so i've decided to for next year try and go back again to a little notebook with a day a page because a day a page is something that I can keep on top of and all that kind of thing it's a legami notebook which are really good quality I've used those notebooks before but I've never seen these particular ones um, in the UK so I'm gonna just we're gonna open this together because I've been dying to open it I've been wanting to open it since I've literally bought it um, but I saved it for you guys so let's have a look and see what it looks like inside and see what the paper quality is like and all that kind of thing because if it's rubbish then I can use it um oh it's not as good then I can use it for work instead so. all right it's a soft cover got this and this is like vellum so I'm probably again gonna save this to put in my journal because you could make like a little like tab or something I don't know I'll put it in with the ephemera um it's got this I think that, does that go like that I don't know what I do with this oh it's a bookmark Right, so yeah, you put it into your pit. Yes, okay, I understand that. That's really nice. And it's embossed with the Legami, like, um, thing. So let's have a quick. Oh, and it's got perforated edges at the bottom. So you can, like, pull it off when you've done the day. I actually really like that. Right, okay. So Saturday and Sunday is half days. I wish they wouldn't do that. I wish they'd do them full days. I don't know why they don't do that. It's so annoying. Because Saturday and Sunday are obviously the things that I do most things on. But... Hmm... I'm thinking this might be better to use for work just because it's got all of the oh yeah and it's got all this in it and it's got like all the time the times on it so you know if I have meetings or whatever it goes up to nine o'clock on the night if I've got meetings and stuff I can pop them in here It's very nice. It's very, very nice. And it comes with a little address book at the back. Oh my God, that is adorable. And it says, designed in Italy. And again, it's all embossed and everything. 
this is very very nice um i just need to decide what i want to use it for i'm i don't know now if i want to use it as my book for the whole year just because the weekends are only on half pages and like i say the things that i do mostly are on a weekend so if i do that then i'm not really going to have much space at all and also it doesn't lie completely flat which mm, is also a bit of a worry i'm also thinking though my pixie sticker would look so cute on there like that or this one yep definitely gonna put one of those on there because that is just the cutest thing ever um so yeah i am really happy with this it's gorgeous quality it is honestly it feels just really nice and it wasn't too expensive i think it was 17 17 euros which is about 14 50 15 pounds so not you know not too bad at all um for the whole year do you know so yeah again feels so smooth and nice and lovely so i'm gonna have to think do i want to use this as a Fibonacci? do i want to use it as a work agenda hmm just don't know yet not sure don't know um so now that is all of the stationery that i bought but i want to show you my jewelry because i'm a jewelry fiend everybody knows this i love jewelry i love looking at um i love wearing quirky earrings and quirky stuff so first up is the bag take that bad boy in isn't he amazing um I just absolutely love this. It is so cute. Um, it's by Rockahoola, which I have heard of before, but I don't think I've got anything by that brand before. Now, in terms of practicality, it's incredibly impractical, if anything. Um, all you can really fit in it is coins or one like debit card. Um, you can't really fit anything in it, so it's kind of like a walking uh, coin purse, but look at it. It's a sparkly, beautiful, pink dogger bag. There's no way I was going to walk away from this. There was a unicorn one as well that I was very tempted to buy as well, but then that would have been like 50 euros on two bags, and, you know, I can't do that. Um, but, yeah, look at it. Oh, it's so pretty. So I absolutely love that. Um, then, jewellery time. So I got... Um, I got this big scrunchie, which I just thought was really nice. It would be good to put on, you know, with um, with anything really. And it will look really good against my hair because my hair is pink and purple. And then from the same shop, look at these bad boys. They're Audrey Hepburn earrings. I mean, have you ever seen anything so amazing? These were the equivalent of about £16, but let me tell you... They were worth every damn penny. Um, they're so well made. They are acrylic. They are just, oh my God, I'm in love with these. Um, they had loads more earrings that I wanted, but people were getting bored and wanted to move on. I could have stayed in there literally all day. But um, oh, just, I absolutely love them. I'm just obsessed. So my Audrey earrings, they're, they're them. Um, then I went to another little shop um, and I got this necklace with, um, it look, I think they look like sweets, um, but it's like little love hearts. I just thought that that was really nice. This one was €12.95, Euros, so I guess about £10 for that one. Um, I got these earrings. And they're like little gummy bears. I mean, they do have like a do not eat sign. I'm not going to eat them, don't worry. But yeah, look how cute they are. So I had to buy those. Thought they were just amazing. I got these hair grips, which I'm a bit annoyed about because now I look closer. I don't know if it's picking up on camera, but here 
they're all a bit um, chipped and I don't know, I'm just not very happy about that really. Like, I wish that they would have, you know, said something when I was in the shop, but it's fine. They were well, not cheap, they're about £7. Um, but they're much pinker in real life, but I just thought they were really cute. Um, then I got this necklace. Now, this is a bit of a weird one because I don't like this part. <laughs> at all. I want the necklace to just be this because again it's the gummy bear thing. So if I just bring it up for you. There's like gummy bears, there's like yin yang, um, some little cherries, again some more little bears and stuff. Um, but I don't like this. I think this is not nice. But when you pull it down it is just string. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to snip them off, use the beads for crafting, um, and then I've just got that one. So I was like, you know, it's not a waste of money, I will use the beads for something else, but I just love this part of the necklace, so that's why I got that. And then the final thing that I got um, was these little handmade glass um, ring, and it comes in this little box, so I'm just going to push this out where is it oh. and the amazing thing with this is it's got liquid in it but it's glass um, I just absolutely loved it look and it's it's baby pink in real life it's not really showing up on the camera but I just thought that was so fun I've got real fat sausage fingers as well so any rings that fit me I'm like yay but yeah how amazing is that and Emily's mum and um, Helen she ended up getting um, one with like ball bearings in so loved that was really excited about that ring just thought that was really cute little uh, little addition to the party so yes that's everything that's my little haul um, I hope you enjoyed it um, yeah if you've got any questions about anything then let me know please 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 go and, join, uh, go and follow Valley um, she does some beautiful like I say vintage kind of spreads she's a gorgeous person she's lovely um, really down to earth really nice and just the absolute biggest sweetheart going so yeah if you don't follow her already go and follow her um, travel page and her crafting page and her YouTube I will link all down below and pop the apps and stuff um, but yeah thank you so much for coming along to my trip to Italy um, and I will see you in my next video whenever that may be um, I've got a few magazines I'm going to be doing some magazine harvesting pretty soon I think um, so yeah I hope you enjoyed and take care and all that good stuff and I'll see you in my next video. Thanks guys. Love you. Bye.